Hi everybody, welcome back to Amala Fitness. My name is Kim and I'm gonna be leading you through your workout today. Today's workout is gonna be a mini band workout. I think these workouts are, are great, of course, for at home, but even if you're traveling, you don't wanna be carrying your weights in your suitcase to add weight. So you throw a couple bands, you could do this workout in your hotel room as well. So for today's workout, it's 30 minutes. We're gonna go hard, not much rest, we're going 30 minutes. We got 13 exercises, 50 seconds on, five seconds off. It's just gonna be a quick transition with the bands from the legs to the arms, because it is a full body workout. Um, and then after the 13 exercises, I'm gonna give you a one minute break. I'm gonna suggest um, for myself as well, I'm gonna leave it through, through with you guys. It's gonna be an active recovery, one minute rest. Of course, grab your water if you need. Um, and then we're gonna run through the exercises one more time. So two sets of 13 exercises. I'm gonna give you guys a couple moments here. Grab um, a water bottle if you want. You can have a mat and a towel. So grab that and if you have your bands, and your bands of course, if you have your bands, slide it around your legs. We are gonna do high knees with the bands on for our warm up today. So slide these bands up and let's get started here. Just warming up the body. Bands are gonna give a little bit more resistance. Try to get the knees up to the hips. Back is nice and straight. Getting that heart beating. Getting the body naturally warmed up here. A few more seconds. Keep going. I'm gonna get our timer started. Keep those knees high. We got 10 more seconds. And we are gonna get started here three, in three two, seconds one, with go. squats. Take the bands off. We're gonna hold this overhead and squat. So keeping the resistance in the arms, press the arms out as you squat back. Sink the booty back. I'm gonna come from the side. So you can see me here, shifting the weight into your heels. I'm gonna come back to facing the camera here. Chest is up, try not to round. So pull the arms up, arms are beside the ears. Feet are hip width apart. We're gonna stay up on our feet, Three, fixing two, our mat. We're gonna move to bent over rows. I'm gonna come from the back once again. Resistance in the arms, pull back. As you pull back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Slight bend in the hips, gaze is down, but the back is nice and long. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades. I like to say to, to my clients, imagine you have an orange between your shoulder blades. As you pull back, really squeeze the shoulder blades together. Three, two, one, rest. Stay on our feet. We're doing a lunge with a tricep two, one, extension. So let's start with the right. We're gonna step forward. Pull down. For the tricep, left hand is at your chest, right hand is pulling down. You're only moving from the elbow. A common mistake is people want to swing. That doesn't isolate the tricep, gets the shoulder involved. So let's keep that elbow glued into your side, pull that arm straight down. And we switch here. So stepping forward with the left, leg, pulling down with the left arm. Three, two, one, rest. From here, we're going to go down Three, into our arms, two, into a walking plank. Step your arms over to the right, push up, come back to center, 
over to the left, push up. If holding a full plank is too hard for you, come down to your knees. You'll build up to holding a full plank. I'd rather you keep moving and have good posture, prevent injury, than doing the exercise wrong. This is a tough one, guys. Stay with me. Three, two, one. All right, two, we're going to stay on our backs. Three, Give those two, arms a rest. One, Slide your band over your legs, and we're going to move into bridges. Bring your legs up. Pulse the legs out. One, two, down. Up. One, two, down. Press through the heels here. That's going to engage the glutes. Halfway there. Exhale as you press up. Slide the band around your ankle, turn around, get back into your plank. We're going to go from plank to forearm plank, jumping jack, back up to plank, down to forearm plank, jumping jack. If this movement from plank to forearm plank is too much, just hold a plank. Maybe the jump's too much, you could step out side to side here. You know your body. As I like to say, this is your workout. I want you to push yourself, but I also want you to be safe and keep moving. Forearm, jumping jack, plank, back down to your forearms. Three, two, one, rest. Let's get back up onto our Three, feet here. Two, and actually we're going to keep these around our thighs, stay low and walking back and forth. If you have a mat, walk the width of your mat. Staying low is going to engage the legs a little more, make it a little harder. If you're standing tall and walking, it's going to make it a little easier. So stay low here, chest is up. We're going to stay on our feet, but we're going to move the band up to our arms. Three, two, one. Slide the band off your legs. Three, two, one. Bring it here, arms at your side, lateral raise. So I alternate between arms and legs just to give those muscles a little rest throughout our workout. If you want to make it a little harder and get into the legs a little more right now, Come down into a static squat. With the arms, keep applying att uh, attention, tension into the band, through the wrist, and then as you exhale, come up to shoulder height, back down. If the squat's too much, come back up to standing. But this exercise, focusing on the arms a little more than the legs, but just giving you options here. Keep that Three, chest up. Two, one, rest. All right, Three, from here, slide two, back down one, two. to the ankles. We're going to do a little leg extension. Toes out 45 degrees and pulse out. At the halfway point, we're going to switch to the right leg. So this is a very small movement. If you're going way back here, it's going to creep up into your lower back. That's not what we're looking for. We want to engage this left glute. Halfway there. I'm going to turn around so you can see me here. Right foot out 45 degrees and just a little pulse. 
I even sometimes put my hand on my butt cheek just so that you can feel that engagement in your glute. You don't want it up here. Stand tall, belly button to spine. Let's keep that core nice and strong. Little pulses here. Three, two, one, rest. Good. All right. Three, Down onto two, our hands. We got mountain climbers. Three more exercises. This is one of the last of the three until we have our one minute active recovery. Bands are at your ankle, driving your knees into your chest. Might want to roll up a little bit. Flex your toes towards your face. It'll kind of help your band from running away on you. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, from here, we're staying in our plank. Side steps. I know this might be a little bit on the shoulders. If you need to, drop down to the forearms. If it feels a little easier, pick your poison here. I know you guys got this. We got one more exercise. Stay with me. Stay out of your head. Focus on your breath. This is our final push. We're staying down on our mat. Just slide the band up to your thighs here. Three, two, one, rest. So turn around quickly. Three, two, slide the band up. One, Come back onto your stomach, moving into Superman. Exhale, come up, bring the legs out and down. Legs come apart as you come up. Engage the glutes. Keep the gaze down. Halfway there. News. Three, two, one, go. Oh. What did I forget? Halfway there. All right, Rest. we got our one minute active recovery. Just jogging here. If you need your water break, that is completely fine. Grab your water, towel off. Remember, if you like this channel here um, first, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like the channel and the other classes, subscribe. We have new classes coming out every Sunday night. Monday morning, depending where you are in the world. So we got a few more minutes here. Let's keep that heart rate up. We're gonna run through these exercises one more time. Fifteen more seconds here. Let's get 
back into our squat with the tension. Arms overhead, coming down into a squat. Come back up. Remember, pressing the arms into the band. Chest is up. Sinking that booty back into your heel. And you can even lift your toes up off the ground. That's going to help you shift your weight back. If the squat's too much, just hold the arms up here. Or maybe bring the arms out here if the arms are getting tired. Just a couple options to keep you Three, moving, two, keeping you with me. All right, we're staying on our feet. Three, bent over two, row. One, Tension two, in the band. Pull back. Pull back. Keep that gaze down, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Keep that core tight, belly button to the spine. Three, two, one, rest. Moving into the lunge Three, with the triceps, starting two, with one, left go. or right leg, right arm coming down. Stepping back, pulling down as you step forward. Left arm is stationary, right arm is moving only from the elbow. At the halfway point, we switch to the left leg. And left arm. Pressing through that heel to step back, switch it up here. Step forward with the left, left arm comes down. Down onto the mat, into our walking plank. Keep the band in your arms, into your plank. Over to the right, push up. Over to the left, push up. Remember, you're always welcome to drop down to the knees. If you're at the knees especially, tuck that tailbone under. No booties up in the air. You're gonna feel that tension in the band as you walk two, your hands apart. One, All right. Three, two, Slide this over your legs, moving go. into the bridge right away. Onto your back. Exhale, lift up, pulse, pulse. Come down slowly. Gaze is up, pressing through those heels. Halfway there. As you lift up, lift those front hip bones up to the sky. We're going to slide the band down to our ankles here right away. Three, Slip over two, to do our planks. One, rest. Slide this down. Three, two, Come back over. One, go. From here, plank, forearm plank, jumping jack, plank, forearm plank, jumping jack. We're moving through this for the next about 30 seconds. Remember, you could come back like this, hold your plank, come down here if the jumping jack's too much. 
taking the jumping jack from the forearms actually. Almost there. Three, two, one. From here, stay in our plank. Right Three, arm is up, two, left one. hand is down, Go. and pulse. Working on this right glute, you could drop down to the forearm if it's a little easier. On the halfway point, we're gonna switch direction. Getting into that left glute, right hand's gonna be down. I'm going to put my back to you guys for a second. Halfway there. Switch. So full plank or forearm plank. I'm going to hold the full plank this time. Little pulses. Gauge those obliques on the bottom. Good job, you guys. Three, Let's get two, back up to standing into our low walk. Chest is up, booties down, walking back and forth. Bigger strides, you might feel a little more resistance. Lower squat, you're gonna feel more of a burn. Five more exercises after this, you guys, and then we are done. Stay with me. Three, two, one. Quick transition. Rest. Slide Three, this band off two, your legs. One. Bring it to your arms. We got the lateral raise. Arms at your side. Exhale, come up. Inhale, down. Exhale. Only up to shoulder height. You want to make this a little harder. Or I shouldn't say harder, but if you want to get into your legs a little more, get into that squat. Chest is up. We're focusing on the shoulders mostly for this exercise. So if you want to give your legs a break, it's okay. Because we're getting right back into that booty in 20 seconds. With our leg extensions in standing. Put this back around your ankles. Three, two, one. Let's start with the left leg. Turn out 45 degrees. Little pulse. Balancing on that right leg. Don't walk out the knee. Just a little slight bend. Belly button to spine. Engage this left butt cheek. I don't want you to feel tension in the back. If you are, you're probably going back too far. So just ease out a bit. There. And if you're not feeling a burn in your booty, maybe you need a heavier band. I've been sticking just with red, the medium, because it's quick and easy with the transitions, especially incorporating the arms. Remember, it's your workout. You pick what you want. We're moving into those mountain climbers here in three, three seconds. Two, one. Good news? Rest. We're down here on the mat for the rest of the workout. Two. Flex those toes, drive those knees up toward your chest. All right, 
We're staying if you, in our plank. If you need to come down to the forearms, it's okay. We're just doing side steps. Getting into those glutes a little more. Come down to here. If the step out is too much, hold your plank. This is our second to last exercise. Stay with me. You're strong. We got this. Pushing it right to the end. We got Superman's to finish it off. Inhale. Bring those legs out. Inhale, come up. Exhale up. Bring it back down. Using the glutes to bring the legs out. Give that booty a little squeeze at the top. Take the pressure out of your lower back. Keep the core strong here. Belly button to spine. This is our last one, guys. And that is it. All right. Let's roll over, take your bands off, and let's do a little stretch. We're just gonna stay, actually no, let's get back up onto our feet. Let's take a big inhale over your head, and on your exhale, dive down, fold forward, getting into those hamstrings, step the feet apart, let the head and neck hang heavy here. Place your left hand in between your feet, slight bend in that left leg. Inhale, sweep your right arm up. Getting a gentle twist. Keep shifting your hips back. And then come down nice and slow. Right hand places down onto the mat. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. Slight bend into that right leg. Let the head and neck hang heavy or if it feels okay. Maybe slight gaze over that left shoulder bring the left hand down as you inhale sweep your arms up and around your back and then pull the knuckles overhead as best as you can still staying here in your forward fold you can put a slight bend in your knees if you feel any discomfort in the lower back or in the hamstrings slowly release your arms as you inhale come up Nice and slow. Let's come to our side. Step that right leg forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Slide the hips forward, getting into this left hip flexor. Then we're also going to get into our right tricep. So just as we did a full body workout, some combo exercises, we'll do some combo stretching here as well. Left hip flexor, right tricep. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, come back, switch the legs out. Stepping the left leg forward as you inhale, arms come up, hips slide forward. Left hip slides back, right hip forward. Then your left arm behind your head here, getting into your left tricep. As you exhale, bring your hands down. Step that foot back. Come back onto your feet. Roll up nice and slow. And that is your 30 minute workout. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next week.